Lost amid the growth of homes and businesses in and around Northern Hills, its connection to the Alamo and the first peoples of San Antonio. How so, you may ask? The people that were living here in the 1740s were, would have been Mission Indians. Depicted here by artist Frank Weir, these may have been the Bayaya greeting arriving Spaniards. Ramon Vasquez with the American Indians of Texas at the Spanish colonial missions and historic preservationist Everett Fly. Look at the old land grant maps showing what is now the Northern Hills area, part of the land believed to have been Rancho Monte Galvan, where cattle grazed for the Alamo and other missions, and the adjoining Rancho Monte Comal, which was the rancho for the Presidio soldiers. Yet Ramon Vasquez says tribes with the Coahuilteca nation had already been here thousands of years trading goods, and many were buried on the land they didn't want to leave. Mission holdouts stayed at Rancheria Grande. And those were remnants of different tribes. Every time I get to talk to Ramon, I learn something, and then it adds a piece, another piece, to the, to the whole story. To the relief of their descendants over the past decade, Everett Fly has discovered and helped restore three lost African-American cemeteries in the area where the enslaved once lived. One of those cemeteries is in the Northern Hills neighborhood. That's why it's so good for us to, yeah. to put these pieces together. There's even history running down the middle of Valencia and Northern Hills. The main thoroughfare that really does go to the city of Nacogdoches is one of the nation's oldest and most historic roads. Deemed El Camino Real de los Tejas by the Spaniards, it was a web of ancient migratory trails. My grandmother was telling the truth the whole time. Kathleen Sanchez says her grandmother had described traveling El Camino Real by wagon and on foot, perhaps similar to this, as migrant workers clearing trees for farmland. Now Sanchez and her husband live in Valencia, just off Nacogdoches, having raised a family in a historically significant area. I'm proud. I'm proud to know that this is how it worked out for us, 